stitches are always a fun way to add a little bit of panache to any project that you're creating. And the Baby Luck Joy has quite a few for us to select from. One of them would be, of course, that zigzag stitch. You can leave it as it is, or you can turn it into a satin stitch. Actually, even the three-step zigzag is a lot of fun to use. Then we have stitch number F, which is more of a satin shape uh, decorative stitch. And then we have stitch G, which again is a satin stitch decorative stitch. If we come to our stretch stitches and take a look at them, the, again, that rickrack stitch is really pretty when you use a decorative thread, as is the uh, smocking stitch. So let's start actually with that Rick Rack stitch, which is stitch number C. And I'm going to make sure I've got the stitch selector on C and I have my length at that SS setting because it's a stretch stitch. And I'm going to leave that width at uh, that setting of five. Now I do have a decorative thread in my needle, which is a rayon thread. I am using a stabilizer and then my base fabric. Now you may find when you are playing with decorative stitches that you might have have to adjust the tension a little bit to accommodate for that decorative thread being in the needle or you might possibly have to change your needle out. Currently I'm using just a standard uh, size 80-12 universal needle. Sometimes you might have to go to an embroidery needle if you start to see your needle thread uh, fray. So we're going to kind of divide our fabric piece up so we can take a look at all these decorative stitches uh, in one pass. I'm now going to flip over or change over to stitch number D and again I'm still on that stretch stitch setting and I'm going to still leave that width at five and this is what I would call uh, as I called it kind of like a smocking stitch or a uh, um, kind of a faux honeycomb stitch but I would consider it more to be a smocking stitch. And we'll stitch down using this stitch for a little ways and we'll take our needle again always out of the fabric when you adjust that stitch selector. Let's go to stitch F. Turn our stitch selector dial to F and in this case what we have to do is we actually have to take it off of that SS setting and we're going to take our stitch length probably between one and two because I want it to look more like a satin and we'll play and test with that and again we're going to leave that width at uh, that setting of five and I can already see by this stitch set stitching out that I'm going to need to take it a little smaller in that length so I get more of a satin look. And let's try one more time and then we can take a look at it. And I think that that is always a preference of the individual or possibly the project that you're uh, using this particular stitch on. Again, kneel out of the fabric because we're now going to take a look at stitch number G. Again, move just that stitch selector dial to G. We're going to leave our stitch length in between that zero and that one, and we're going to leave the width at five. And I am going to drop the stitch length down a little bit so that you can see how tight you can get these really pretty satin stitches. Take it down just a little bit more. And then the last stitch, or the last two stitches, I am going to uh, stitch out will be the zigzag stitch and the three step uh, zigzag stitch. So let's go to stitch uh, D. We're going to cheer on that stitch selector dial to D. I'm going to adjust that stitch length to two and a half and we're going to leave our width at five. And then our last stitch that we're going to stitch out will be the uh, zigzag stitch or C. Turn the dial to C. We're going to leave our width at five and I'm actually going to take my stitch length down because I want it to be more of a satin stitch. We're going to start at almost one and take a look at that. And I can see already I need to take it down a little bit more so I get that satin effect. Take my needle out of my fabric and now I'm ready to look at my stitch creations using that decorative thread in the needle and the decorative stitches on the Baby Lock Joy. Wow! You can see here is that Rick Rack stitch, here is my smocking stitch, here is stitch F and you can see I needed to adjust that stitch length to make it more compact which I did when I went to stitch number G. 
Here is the uh, three-step zigzag. I might have shortened that one up a lengthwise or possibly even widthwise, and I would have gotten higher peaks. And then lastly is our satin stitch. As we started, or a zigzag stitch, which we turned into a satin stitch. And again, I could have gotten a little tighter with that stitch line to compact those stitches a little closer together. But you can see how beautiful all these stitches are and how stunning they would look on any project you create on your Baby Lock Joy. Mm -hmm.